All right, we are at Silver Glen Springs. Jack wanted to go here and go swimming in the in the spring, and apparently there are manatees it's nearby. It's so stupid how you have to wear a bracelet, and I can't make. And I hope there's. And we just have to hope that I am right that there is no manatees in the spring. Well, I'm hoping there are manatees in the spring as long as. Then we can't go swimming. No, we can't. We just can't approach them. Okay. Uh, no, I can't. Of course I got your snorkel. You ready? Okay, I want to bring the GoPro. We will. Jack and I are getting ready to go. We're going to go and... Hey, we're about to go snorkeling. Brian's just tightening up my life jacket. And here we go. Here. Here we go. Okay. Watch out for the baby. Jack's having fun. He's just over there in imagination land, having a good time with his squirt gun. Not quite yet, but, and we're just hanging out, having a good time, playing at Silver Glen. Went swimming, but the water's cold. I didn't bring our wetsuits, so we're a little chilly, a little too chilly to swim, but about 80 degrees out. But overall, he's having a lot of fun. I'm relaxing, enjoying watching him play. So overall, it's been great. So we're having a tiny bit of car trouble. Hopefully it's just a tiny bit. Um, the ABS sensor, the emergency brake sensor, and the traction control sensor all went off at once. Um, or the lights, I should say, not the sensors. The lights went off, which in the van was a wheel speed sensor. And I talked to Rick and Matt. They both think it's probably a wheel speed sensor or wheel bearing, but my guy in Ello checked all of the wheel bearings, and two of them are brand new, so I 
I'm not assuming that that's it. So I'm just going to assume that it's a wheel speed sensor. I'm super paranoid and thinking I'm hearing a whole bunch of other stuff. And of course, part of me is like, oh, see, it's because I'm driving to Florida Keys and blah, blah, blah. Last time I drove. Ryan, it isn't plugged in. Okay. There you go. Nope. Yeah, it's just start working. Thank you. You're welcome. So, yeah, a little frustrated, a little annoyed, but that is what happens when you take Half a, a mile. car. Take left of the corp to stay on Florida 429 South. With 180,000 miles on a road trip. So, I'm just telling myself it's a wheel speed sensor. When we get to Key West, I will probably have it actually checked out just to make sure. Because that'll make me feel a lot better and then left help me the plan. To stay on Florida 429 South. Florida Turnpike, and we are heading to Homestead. Continue Homestead 429 South. Well, the car is really broken. Uh, pretty sure, I mean, I'm kind of crossing my fingers, I guess, that it's just a wheel bearing in the rear passenger, but it sounds like death. <laughs> the car just sounds like it's going to break, and, like, you can tell, like, it kind of wiggles. I mean, I didn't even get it going more than 25 miles an hour to get the one and a half miles over here, and it was... Not scary because it's dramatic, but it was nerve wracking and stressful. Um, yeah, another fiasco, one on one trip. <sighs> uh, so, yeah, um, and parked in front of a bunch of garages, but it's a pretty seedy part of town, so I think I'm gonna go up to the end of the block there's this nice looking gas station i'm gonna sleep there for the night i was gonna sleep right here but there's just a bunch of people out like street racing <laughs> so i don't think i'm gonna stay here but yeah i wanted to stay at the hotel but it was like a like three out of four dollar sign hotel and i wouldn't didn't want to have the shenanigans Plus, I wanted to get over to this side of town while it was, like, midnight so that there wasn't a lot of traffic because I didn't know if the wheel was going to pop off. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it does. It feels like it, at least, um, and sounds like it. It sounds awful. So, um, yeah, I'm a bit annoyed, but whatever. It's what makes it an adventure. We are at this awesome small mechanic shop. Uh, Gino is the mechanic's name. He's perfect. Uh, I looked it up last night. Five stars on Google with like 50 rate ratings. Um, he's getting us out of here probably by late lunch. Uh, he's got the part already ordered. It'll be here in under two hours. And then he said about an hour and a half of labor. And then we're going to be out of here. So yeah, uh, it was the wheel bearing. And then the rotor got trashed in it as well. So, yeah, but we're going to be out of here, so, yeah, we'll still be in the Keys by early evening, late afternoon, so super, super stoked and so grateful that we were able to get off the highway when we did and find this place. Jack is being such a trooper about this, we're just hanging out in the mechanic's office, and he's been a real, real good guy about all this today. Super patient. Love you, buddy. Hey, just hanging out in our little office, waiting for the car to get fixed. Hey. Jack's being patient, it's hard, but he's doing it. I are getting out for a bit, going for a little bit of a walk while the car gets worked on. It's too hot. It is, it's a bit warm. It's about 80 degrees. So, oh, we're about to hit some shade. All right, so we are back on the road. It's 11.30. Gino got us out in under three and a half hours, and the only reason it took that long is because we had to wait two hours for the part. That's pretty amazing. So we are back on the road, and we have about a three-hour drive until the snorkel place. So we're just going to keep on going. But I'm so happy that that worked out. I mean, pulled off that exit, found a place to sleep, 
first person I called today was Gino, and he was like, yeah, bring it in. We'll get you know, fixed up, so. Pretty, pretty, pretty lucky.